This is the smoking room. You can come in here and smoke like Las Vegas. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Tavern Tycoon as we desperately try to cling to our reputation here. Reputation is the killer in this game. We've got our research department cranking away over here, trying to get our recipes for our mead and our food up to better quality because people just hate the food around here, apparently, and the drink. So we're working on it. Uh, what's your problem? Why are you sleepy? You're waiting for a reception desk. Okay, you're waiting for, for actual rooms. All right, I don't have a lot of room for rooms here, but we might be able to do something about that. Anything that makes people happy, I am totally into. What's your deal? You are waiting for a gambling den. Okay, and why are you waiting? You're also waiting for a gambling den. Okay, fine, that's fine. Um, pause it for me for a sec. Just, just, just chill out, everyone. Um, oh, there's a fight over here. Somebody should probably deal with that or not. I, I don't care. I just need to keep my reputation up. That probably hurts my reputation. I should probably deal with that. Uh, research department. Now, I have you guys 80% on improvement. Let's bring that back down to 50-50 so we can get new recipes as well as trying to make the ones that we have better. Let's just get you 50-50. Oh, I do have some potions too. Uh, yeah, the red research potion will um, in, you know, improve our research rate. So drink that and drink a blue one. Drew, just drink everything. Just do whatever you need to do to make our stuff better. So people want a gambling den and some guest rooms. Okay, that's, um, that's fidgety. How about if I move the fireplace to somewhere that isn't where it was right there? Like maybe over here, that's fairly near the same area. Where could I theoretically put rooms and a gambling den? Can I maybe squeeze a gambling den here-ish? Let's see, how big is the gambling den? Uh, zone and gambling den. The thing with the gambling den, the reason I didn't put it up before is that guests will be sad if they lose money, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to be sad about, I admit. Um, I didn't actually even look at that. Give me that, uh, sorry, give me that one more time. Give, give, give me, give, all right, just tell me. Uh, what does it need to be? Five by five, did I see that correctly? Uh, how about four? No, no matter which way I swing this, it's just not really gonna work out in this area, is it? Okay, never mind that. Let's get back to the idea of doing some rooms over here. Yeah, that's probably going to be my, my best bet. All right, let me let me have a little think and see what we're going to do here. All right, so just scouting out the other available additions that we could put on. We're kind of we kind of have to go in order because I'm assuming if there's no walkway, there's no way that they're going to get to these other things. That's just kind of logical. But this is 32,000 gold for that. I don't got no 32,000 gold. That's going to really put a whole kink in the works in terms of expanding in any degree of, of, of rapidity or speed. I think I kind of need to focus maybe on the gambling den. So one more time, that is indeed five by five. I wasn't hallucinating that. Do I have five squares here at all? Anywhere? No, I, I really don't actually. Okay, what if we started maybe over here and came down here and you're not letting me do that probably because that table is in the way how about if i moved the table anywhere like here how about there would you let me put a gambling den down here now if we did this yes you will okay so the table was the problem that's broadly fine yeah go ahead and i'm gonna say go ahead and do that Gambling den with a big sign on it and a little blackjack table. That is kind of awesome. Truth be told, a little slot machine. Perfect. And a chair for people to sit on. Why don't you guys... Oh, it's a smoking couch even. Let's get another one of those. This is the smoking room. You can come in here and smoke like Las Vegas. All right. Um, Go ahead and do that. Now, what do you actually need? You obviously need some kind of staff member. Is that a clerk? Uh, reception desk and allow tired guests. It's, it can't be a bartender, right? No, serve drinks at the bar. And maidens, is it a clerk? Is it anyone at all? Do I actually not need staff here? Okay, well, let's find out. Let's, let's just unpause the game and people will use it or they won't. I'm not 100% sure. I would feel this needs a clerk. 
Somebody's got to man that blackjack station, and these guys are just beating the tar out of each other. You're a wizard waiting for a gambling den. I made one. Yeah, you guys seem to be broadly okay. I'm just keeping an eye out for either kids dressed or as adults or the guards who are supposed to be on duty, but they come in here to drink and I have to kick them in the butt. And that's not you, right? No, you're just a knight. You're waiting for the gym. Apparently the gym is full up. All right. Well, you guys seem to be using the gambling den okay. And you're smoking pipes in the smoking chairs. That's very, very good. Uh, oh, Lord Peter sent us 5,000 gold. Well, now we're running out of money. And our reputation is tanking. Oh, dear. All right. Um, and, and somebody wants a raise. Of course they do. Of course they do. Uh, improved menu. Yay. Research department has gotten garden salad to level two. Which apparently means just making it slightly bigger. Good. Um, and Lord Peter is bailing us out. Bailing us out of our financial trouble. Yeah, sure. Come and inspect us. You may as well. You need a raise. How much do you want? Wow, you, you are actually getting paid very little money. Sure. You know what? That That's not going to be my make or break number. My make or break number is going to be the number where I have no money and no reputation. Endless journey mode is tough. This is this, oh, and there's an earthquake. Of course, there's an earthquake. Why wouldn't there be an earthquake? Naturally, there's an earthquake. Uh, yeah, table's broken down. My handymen will get to these things in a reasonable time frame, but I, I just I can't take on a whole bunch of handymen. You know, one raise is not bad. And there's Lord Peter. Of course, Lord Peter just entered the building. Yes, he did. Tutorial Ninja. Thank you. Uh, my handymen are working round the clock to fix things. Round. The clock. Oh, you're a bartender. Do you work for me? Yeah, you do. Okay, so it's a bartender who works there. Fair enough. I knew somebody felt that somebody had to work there. But now you're not tending bar. See, there's an inherent flaw there. There's an inherent problem with your actions is now you're not tending bar. Why are you so sad? Rabbit stew was not available. And you knocked me down 50 rep for that. Somebody in the comments has said this too. It's very, very unfair in terms of what you lose for a bad thing versus what you gain for a good thing. So he loved the mead, but that only gave us plus eight reputation. The rabbit stew was just simply not here, and that's minus 50. That is, that's a little lopsided. I, I think we can all be pretty clear. That's a little lopsided, because he loved the mead. But we lost 50 and only gained eight from that guy. I'm, I'm just desperately looking for children to kick that there's a sentence I didn't really ever think I'd be saying. I'm desperately looking for children to kick just for the quick 15 reputation points. He, he just walked out the door with minus 29. Again, assorted skewers was not available, so we didn't have the food that he wanted. That's minus 50, but he was pretty cool on the mead. Plus zero. Plus zero. Thanks, buddy. Don't bother coming back in here again. Um, We're going to get fired again. This is going to be another like 15 minute episode here where I just end up getting fired because I can't keep my rep up under any circumstances. It's a little deety bit lopsided. It's awfully fun, but um, very hard to make any real progress. Oh, you want a raise? Of course you do. Everybody wants a raise. Uh, reputation increased by 34. Thank God we're just clinging on now. We're just barely clinging on. Who wanted a raise? I saw somebody did. Inspection reports, yep, we got that 34 up. Okay, maybe I was hallucinating the race. Is that because you leveled up? Was that the little little uh, thing that I saw, a little animation over your head? Is that, is that what your problem is? Pay bonus, raise wage, fire staff. No, you know what? Don't do any of that. Just leave her alone. Just leave her alone. You came in with your own pig. That's weird, frankly. That's weird. Oh, and, and somebody tipped the bar. Good for you. Good, good job. Um, are we making any money at the gambling table, by the way? P.S. Um, I feel we should be. Yeah, okay. Uh, gambling den. Well, I don't want to sell it. So it's three to play the slot machine. And you've got a, a one win probability. One out of what? W one out of what? I need more information than that. Okay, I don't know one out of what? One out of a hundred? One out of ten? One out of a million? The barbarian is tanked, but at least he's dropped the pig. That's good. And now somebody is definitely requesting a raise. Okay, raise would be great. What do you do? You want me to almost double your income. Sure, why not? 
Why not? Can I have some rep for that, please? Can can I please? What do you, what's your problem? Uh, you're waiting for the gambling den. It's right there, dude. It's right there. All right, now you. You liked the mead that was plus six. Amazing music was plus 20. Oh, good. Maybe we should get another performing stage. And we've got the piano, because I, I feel this is a piano bar. But maybe we should get more of that if people really dig the music. And you like the bench press. But again, assorted skewers not available. Minus 50. All right, well, how about, thank you for that information. How about we took the research department and put you a little more into new recipes then? How about we just did this 75-25, drink another blue research potion. Heck, drink a red one too, drink it all. Drink everything. Drink all the time in the research department. It's probably not good for you, but here we are. Um, how's my money? Not the worst. My reputation is the worst. I'm going to be fired momentarily. 18 out of 10,000, there we go. We're, we're done again. I have been fired again from Tavern Tycoon. This is um, challenging, not gonna lie, challenging. I'm gonna have another chicken thrown at my head here. All right, well, there's yet another failure of Tavern Tycoon. I think if we're going back in, and you guys let me know if you want me to go back in, as always. It, it always comes down to what you folks want to watch. If we're going back in, I'm going to go back to the beginning and adjust some of these settings. Because I feel I may have, in somewhat randomizing it, accidentally made it um, like super hard on the reputation thing. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I, you know, the, the more realistic answer is I probably just really suck at Tavern Tycoon. But maybe we'll go back and explore some more of these setting options and see if we can... Make this a little more balanced on our end. Maybe a little more fair. Because um, I don't think losing 50 for a bad thing and gaining only 8 for a good thing is maybe the most balanced thing. But as always, you folks let me know what you want to do with Tavern Tycoon. Do you want to see me start this all over again? Because I am more than happy to do that. This is a very, very fun game. If far more challenging than I anticipated. But do please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that far more than having a chicken thrown at me and if you're new to the channel maybe just checking it out for the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button to see more of this ridiculous nonsense until then i'm dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time so just so we're all clear on the victory conditions here i am last in everything i am last in absolutely everything sixth place sixth place 6th place and 6th place.